Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List. And on today's show, I'm standing in front of a bunch of rocks. Obviously, this isn't just a bunch of rocks. This is the world famous Stonehenge. Now, I know what you're gonna ask me. Why is this here? And to be honest, pff, don't know. In fact, actually nobody knows. Even if you go to the visitor center, they pretty much hypothesize as to why they built this place. And to be honest, nobody really knows. All you do have to know is that this was built pre-machines and pre-anything, so getting this up here with just manpower, pretty incredible stuff. Now, I know the first question you're gonna ask me is, can I go ahead and touch the stones? Sadly not. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a rope pretty much all the way around the perimeter, which stops people, like myself, climbing up and hugging the stones and damaging the stones and whatever. There are certain tours that you can go on whereby you can actually access this place outside of ours, obviously in a supervised tour group. And you can actually go ahead and walk amongst the stones. Obviously, I'm not in that group. I can't afford stuff like that, so here I am with everyone else. You can actually pay a tour group and they'll actually bring you here on a tour bus and you might get access to the stones but in general the best thing to do is to actually drive here and go to the visitor center now the visitor center is actually about a mile and a half away from this thing here so what they do after you pay for the price of admission is that they sling you on a shuttle bus and this shuttle bus can be pretty busy right now it's saturday morning and i was literally one of the first people in the queue and i don't know if you can see in the background there but there's hundreds of people here don't expect to come here and think that you're going to be the only one or two or five people having a look at this place this place is a massive tourist attraction people come from all the way around the world just like the grand canyon it's a little bit over touristified so if you don't mind that thing it's still worth a look it's pretty interesting to read some of the plaques that are around Stonehenge to kind of hypothesize as to why they actually built it like they did. Some people hypothesize that it's all to do with the alignment of the sun and stuff like that. And if you were to ask your local druid, I don't know if there are any local druids or any amongst you, but yeah, they'll probably tell you the reason why it's laid out like that. On paper, it's just a bunch of rocks. It's actually kind of cool. I mean, you kind of get this weird aura. I don't know if anyone who's been Stonehenge and can attest to this, but you kind of get a weird sense of aura. It's, it's strange here. Um, the energy from around here is it's actually quite strange, but in a way, quite nice. If you do come here to any of the solstices, you'll find that you actually do have access to the stones. They open it up to the general public. You'll also be sharing the stones with various weirdos and druids and hippies, but other than that, yeah. Overall, this place is definitely worth adding to your bucket list. Okay, Nin, I'm sold. What do I do? Well, you gotta be able to get here. And like I said, it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. The nearest towns are kind of Salisbury and Swindon. And even then, it's about a half an hour drive away from each. Well, Swindon's about an hour away. So, preferably drive or if you do have a coach tour departing from the nearest city, take that, you might actually get access to the stones. Cost-wise, not horribly expensive. It's about 18 quid, there or thereabouts. If you do have an English Heritage card, it's free. Um, and I highly recommend that if you do like visiting historical sites here in England, buy one of those, it'll save you a hell of a lot of money. Parking, well, if you're an English Heritage member, it's free, if you're not, it's free, but bear in mind that this is actually a mile and a half away from the visitor center. Is there any way I can see this for free? Uh, kind of. Remember, it's in a field in the middle of nowhere, and right behind this camera lies a main A road. If you can find a place to emergency park, I guess you can see this place from a distance. You probably can't see this on the camera at the moment, but what I'll do is I'll take some video footage of the traffic that slows down just so that they can see Stonehenge. But if you can actually find a place to park along the A road behind, it'll save you the price of admission, um, but you obviously can't get not nearly as close to the stones as where I am now, which is probably the closest you're going to get. Is it worth a special trip to see this place? 
Honestly, it's cool, but no. If you do want to see this place, make sure you visit other places around here as well. I mean, there's Old Serum, there's Salisbury Cathedral. There's a whole bunch of other places that you can basically do a tour of in a single day that would make it a lot interesting. It'd be pretty disappointing if this was your only highlight of your day. So please, if you are going to see this place, make sure you see some other sites as well. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes, don't come here early. I was here at roughly half six this morning and unfortunately, it's not open. Not only is it open, it's armed with security guards. Seriously, security guards guarding an old bunch of rocks. Can you believe it? So even if you were to park up somewhere and try and sneak up on Stonehenge, realistically, you, you're gonna get caught. So guys, don't come here too early, but get here on time, preferably on a weekday, preferably at opening time, because I'm here on a Saturday morning and it was ram jammed. So bear that in mind, if you do come here, come during the week. If you have enjoyed this episode of Ultimate Bucket List, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below and if you do have any other suggestions as to what I can do with my time, feel free to tweet them at me. Tweet them at me and if I do get enough suggestions for one particular thing, I'll be sure to go ahead and do that. So guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Is it worth a trip? Is it worth a special trip to see this? Is there any way I can get up? Is there any way I can see this for free?